Intel had a big day, spent four hours on um, with, the, with their architecture day. I watched it on and off all day long uh, between the calls. You dove in deep. By the way, great Twitter stream, Pat. You sort of almost live blogged it using Twitter. Really enjoyed that. So if you're out there listening to this show, uh, check out Pat's Twitter stream on Architecture Day. I'm sure he'll have a Forbes piece to come soon thereafter. But big day. And we're going to actually break this into two parts. We're going to talk right now about the client core strategy that was announced at Architecture Day. Later in the show, we're going to come back and talk about data center. But Pat, I'll hand the mic to you. Yeah, so uh, first off, there's a lot of content here. We're going to break it uh, in into two. And there was so much content. I haven't even done a write-up. I decided to uh, take the easy way out and just tweet uh, which was essentially, you know, my notes plus um, uh, some other stuff. But, uh, you know, let, let's, you know, break this into, you know, they discussed, uh, they discussed their cores uh, and they discussed uh, their client product, which was uh, uh, Alder Lake and then some graphic stuff. So, um, you know, I think the, you know, you, to me, I'm not going to do this in order that Intel did this, but I think first and foremost, uh, I, I am more convinced than ever that AMD, sorry, that Intel will gain uh, graphics market share uh, versus uh, AMD and, and NVIDIA. I mean, I, I can't even come up with a worst case scenario that doesn't put them at the, the very high end of the mid range, even if, um, even if uh, AMD and NVIDIA, you know, increase performance uh, 50%. Uh, but who knows? Uh, what could happen uh, execution wise? I feel uh, pretty good on the graphics side because they're uh, partnering with, uh, uh, at least on the consumer side, they're they're uh, partnering with TSMC on an N6 node, um, and you know they've got a multi-year uh, uh, roadmap. Uh, the the second thing that and that, that I'll jump into is uh, the uh, the cores themselves. Uh, you may be familiar with the uh, ARM's big little configuration. It's a big core to do big work and a small core to do little work. Uh, this is very similar uh, to that. Uh, you have an, an E core for efficiency and you have a P core for performance. And then, you know, whether it's a server part or a client part, they're putting P cores and E core and then the, uh, the threads and the workloads are being managed by a thing called thread director. There were some early issues with Big Little that had to do with uh, thread management, but uh, I heard enough from Intel that uh, with Windows 11, uh, it's going to operate well. I feel like uh, Intel learned a lot uh, from what ARM had done. And also, you know, Intel had done um, symmetric multi-threading uh, for, for years, so it's not like they don't know how to do uh, threads. They, they actually do know how to do uh, threads. So, uh, so uh, uh, basically Intel said that, you know, an E-Core 40% uh, better integer performance or same performance, uh, at 40% lower power as, as Skylake in, in a one threaded. And then, you know, in a four thread configuration, 80% better integer performance or 80% less power, which, you know, is pretty impressive. But again, uh, we, we have to see the product that, uh, comes out to see, uh, what it, what it really is. Uh, the P core, right? Um, bigger performance. Uh, they're claiming a 19% advantage, uh, Daniel, over you know an array of different benchmarks uh, from you know Spec to Sysmark, Crossmark, PCMark, WebExpert, and and Geekbench. Uh, I, I don't know the mixture of GPU or AI uh, that's in there. So you know it's a big TBD for me. Probably the biggest. Biggest thing uh, that they added um, on there, and this is for um, uh, data center only, is this new um, deal uh, inference and training engine called AMX, um, and they're claiming 8x improvement on 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 Int uh, 8, and uh, that's pretty big. Uh, and and you know we'll get into it when we talk about uh, Sapphire Rapids, the actual product that uh, uh, integrates that. And and let me uh, let me uh, finalize here on the actual client product that takes uh, P cores, takes E cores, uh, and then takes a bunch of fixed function engines 
uh, adds DDR5, PCIe5, Wi-Fi 6, Thunderbolt 4 uh, in a product called Alder Lake. And, and this is a chip that scales from ultra portables at 9 watts to 125 watt uh, desktops uh, on, on three packages. It is a monolithic uh, design, but it is going to be a smaller die than, let's say, you know, the server part that's a, a distributed uh, piece. So, so, you know, net, net, you know, this wasn't a product launch. Uh, I do feel like, you know, if, if, you know, I am a betting man that this will be very uh, competitive in notebook uh, and desktops that are, are lower core count, or let's say desktops with a, an overall core count between eight uh, and, and 16. Uh, I think AMD will, pro will still win uh, the core battle. I do think it's probably likely that, that on a core to core basis on single threaded uh, perspective that uh, uh, Intel will probably retake the crown uh, until AMD comes out uh, with with their next architecture. So uh, and this is going to be uh, on what's called Intel 7, um, which is very similar to TSMC's, um, you know, they call it 7 nanometer, but it's not really 7 nanometer. So there's where we are. Two cores and uh, Alder Lake. Yeah, there's a lot of updates there, Pat. And, and, and you know, you went in deep. And my responsibility as host today is to keep things moving. But if I can add a couple of just quick thoughts on this one. Pat Gelsinger said, bring the geek back. And this is what Intel's been doing with its recent communications, whether that's been the recent IDM announcements, whether it was Architecture Day. The company is really trying to provide some guidance in terms of how it uh, intends to reclaim or maintain leadership in various areas of the business, giving a lot of transparency. Execution, I remain to say, and every time I talk about Intel, execution, 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 that is going to be the litmus test for the company. It's not about what they're saying they're going to do. It's been about over the past several years, what they're saying they're going to do and then what's actually been done. Uh, Pat Gelsinger is the say -do guy. He came in from the beginning, said, I'm going to say, I'm going to do, I'm going to execute. If the company can execute, there are opportunities to recapture, regain some market leadership and certainly some market share in different areas. That is TBD. But we're watching and we'll be talking about it. You can count on that here on the 6.5 podcast.